everybody, it's Kelly Wise with the Salt Film Shop, and I just wanted to show you who stopped by today. We've got Scott with the Collector Education Foundation and the bus. So, man, I haven't shown you what's going on the bus lately, so come on, let's take a look. A little bit's changed since the last time I showed you the bus, and Mark is doing my videography today, so if it's a little bit shaky, this is his first time. You'll have to give him a little bit of credit. Um, this is the bus. We've got <laughs> if we can get up the stairs. This is where they check in the kids and take care of all that stuff. And on the bus, you can see they're looking for shoes. And now with school starting, it's really very important. And here in Flagler County, we have uniform a uniform code now. So not only do they need their shoes, and Mark can kind of pan over and take a look. They've got all their school supplies. And walk down just a little bit further. The newest thing that's impacting our children in Flagler County is the new uniform dress code. So, if you happen to be out and about, the best colors that you can get are black, white, and gray, because those are standard for all of the schools. They do have to have a collar or buttons. Um, they are taking other gently used items in other colors, but if you've got anything that's black, white, gray, that you're interested in cleaning out of your closet, polo shirts or oxfords, then Please bring them by. We will send them over to Scott. They are looking for some larger sizes. Remember, our children are not just kindergartners. They're big people, too. You've got adults. The other thing that we are looking for, and this is incredibly important, part of the uniform code are blue jeans this year. So if you have any gently used blue jeans that we can either hem them up and turn them into shorts, and if you're interested in coming to help hem them up and turn them into shorts, we would love to have you. But if you've got any gently used jeans that we can recycle, they can be small sizes, large sizes. Remember, you've got high schoolers, too, that we're looking to help out. So many of them um, need to have that outerwear. Their uniform consists this year of a polo shirt, black or brown belts. So if you have any belts that need to be recycled, please bring them in. Or uh, khaki colored or blue jean colored pants. So that's what we're looking to achieve. If you've got any of that stuff that can help out the students here in Flagler County, school supplies, or you'd like to make a donation, we can help you out with that too, and we'll purchase the items, and, and that way it goes straight on the bus. Sneakers, closed-toed shoes, especially for the younger kids, would be awesome. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or go to the Flagler Education Foundation's website. There will be a list posted of everything that's needed. If you have any questions, give us a call. Please stop by, make a donation, go through your closets. This is a really good time to, to clean out some of those things that you don't necessarily wear that the kids in Flagler County can use. Anyway, it's Kelly Wise from the Stone Cold Shop. It's getting a little warm here on the bus, and um, I look forward to seeing everybody soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.